I don't have a sketch for this yet. Alina, ugh. Yeah? Can you help me out with doing a little sketch for this video? What? At this time? I'm still recovering from the Avengers Endgame review, man. Ah, uh, don't worry, you're not using your fist. This is John Wick, right? Just, uh, just use your gun and shoot all over the place to wow the audience, I guess, or something. I don't know. Okay, fine. Yeah, here we go. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, sorry about that. Uh, don't worry, I'm fine. Just, just kill the intro. I'll get up eventually. Hey guys and gals, it's me today, Rocket, and today we're going to be reviewing John Tree Wick Para 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 what? Uh, yeah, whatever. Anyways, today we're going to be reviewing John Wick Tree. So of course we're going to start off with a non-spoiler review, and then we're going to go on to some spoilers. So um, yeah, this is a very different movie than what I usually review on the channel. So if you're not really into the whole, you know, um, what I can only consider to be called as some um, bloody violence, I guess, please don't watch this movie because. It's a lot of the action sequences in this movie are pretty, um, pretty crazy as what I can describe it. I mean, come on. Usually it's like, if you kill somebody, if somebody gets killed in a movie, they usually kill it off screen. You don't actually show it. But in this movie, they do show it and it's very, very brutal. So please, if you're not into that stuff, don't watch this movie. But don't worry, we're not going to put any of that stuff here on this channel. So, um, yeah, here we, here we go. Let's uh, actually get into the review. So, um. Yeah, as I mentioned before, the action sequences are pretty violent. I mean, to be honest, I kind of expected from the previous two movies, as I've seen before, I kind of expected it to, you know, see this violent, you know, action sequences again. But the thing is, I kind of feel like it's more violent than the previous two movies, which is actually pretty crazy. And to be honest, it can be actually pretty satisfying as well. I don't want to spoil what is in, you know, I don't want to really spoil, you know, the action sequences in this non-spoiler review, so I'm not going to go into that. Just, I'll just say that the action sequences in this movie, if you're a fan of the previous two movies, it, the action sequences in this movie are, I think, to look forward to. I also want to mention that this movie actually takes place right after the events of, you know, the second film. I mean, this movie is considered to be called Chapter 3 after all, so I guess it makes sense that, you know, it just continues onward from there. I was kind of hoping that it could just, you know, you know, just going straight into when, you know, John Wick is already excommunicado and you don't really need to see, we're not going to see that on screen, but surprisingly we actually see it, you know, it just takes place straight after that, so um, yeah, it doesn't, you know, slow down the pace, so at least that's good in my eyes, because I kind of fear if they did that, it kind of slowed down the pace, but it didn't, so I'm glad they did that, so um, yeah, I was, so yeah, if you haven't watched the previous two movies, I kind of feel like you should freshen up, so you can, you know, understand what's going on in this movie because if you didn't watch the previous two movies, you can't really understand what's going on here, so yeah, please, if you're gonna watch this movie, please watch the other movies first. Although even though this movie takes place, you know, after the events of John Wick 2, it certainly doesn't look like it because I kind of feel like the presentation is very different from John Wick 1 or, you know, even 2, of course. And I feel like it's not a bad thing because I kind of feel like it's a lot more brighter and much more, you know, colorful, surprisingly. And I really like it because I feel like it really, you know, makes it better to see, you know, see all the action sequences in this movie. Because there's a lot of that in this film, so, of course, as I said before, it's something to look forward to. So I kind of feel like it's best that they give you the best, you know, view to look at the action sequences. So, um, yeah, I really appreciate the new presentation style, as you can say it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say for non-spoilers. Of course, there's a lot more to go to in the, you know, the spoiler warning because I can't really say it without spoiling the movie. So of course, as always, let's cue the spoiler warning. What am I doing? Just cue the spoiler warning. So let's start off the spoiler review with the story. So um, yeah, this is one of the big problems with John Wick 3 is that there really isn't a story in this movie. I mean, sure, there is a story to progress the movie, but uh, there really isn't something that makes you feel like, 
what have I learned from all of this? Which is usually what you usually have in most movies, but uh, the, this movie doesn't really have that. It's a bit weird to be honest, but I kind of feel like they intentionally do this. It's like a video game basically. The story is just there to, you know, move to the next level and, you know, make the circumstances to make the, you know, the level that you're gonna play is actually a pretty good level. And my goodness, there's actually some pretty good levels in John Wick 3. Even though there really isn't a story in John Wick 3, there certainly are some action sequences in John Wick 3. And my goodness, they are pretty crazy. Yeah, so the only way I can describe it is like this. You want to get yourself really killed and get the John Wick pack, ladies and gentlemen. Not only are you going to get shot once, not only are you going to get shot twice, but you're going to get shot five times at least. And even that, you could actually get chucked, you know, John Wick might, you know, shoot five knives at you as well. And maybe even if you're lucky, I guess, you might get attacked by a dog. So, um, yeah, the, you know, the action sequences in this movie are pretty crazy, as I said earlier. That's pretty much how I can explain it. But even though that's the case, that doesn't mean like this move, you know, the action sequence in this movie are just basically just mindless action, just mindless slaughtering and all that. It's basically just mind slaughtering, I guess. Um, um, it's, it's basically like this. They actually present the action sequences pretty well, even though they're pretty brutal. I really like the how they, you know, display the where you put they put the camera, of course, and you know how John Wick moves to one part and to the other of course so um yeah i really like the action sequences even though they're pretty insane and i can't believe they actually did you know the action sequences like that even though that's the case i really like how they structured it oh um sorry i was just getting ready for you know going out later on because i have something planned after this so um um anyways let's just continue on with the review so as i was saying that you know the main meat of this movie is of course is you know the action sequences because that's basically what they're putting all their effort into as you can see in the film you can clearly see that's what the, that's what the case is i think that's all right because i feel like it's a nice you know little big attraction for this movie of course and i really like talking about those action sequences with my friends i feel like that's the main topic as well that they're gonna bring up so um yeah that's pretty much all i mean i there's also that cliffhanger of course at the end which is a really nice setup for john wick 4 it's gonna be an interesting idea that John was gonna go after the, you know, go after the table now, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna be killing people on purpose instead of just defending himself, which of course is what the, he was doing mostly throughout this film is just defending himself by killing them, of course, who's ever trying to kill him. So um yeah, I'm interested to see how the fourth one's gonna go. I, I think that's gonna be like the last one because I don't think they're gonna go more after this. At least end at four, at least. If cannot end at three. You, you end it for and then maybe after that just do something new with the series so um yeah so that's pretty much it i can say about john wick so um with that said guys all right guys and girls thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it all right guys and girls thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it um yeah sorry about that I, in fact sorry about if i sound a bit weird throughout this video i'm kind of fasting at the moment so um yeah, that's why maybe you can hear my voice and maybe the way I say things is a bit weird than you're used to. I'm not sure if it was weird before, but yeah, whatever. But yeah, I apologize if that's, if that's the case in this video. But uh, anyways, next on the channel, I have something special planned. Hopefully, I can go through with it. But uh, yeah, it's something different. It's not a review. I'm actually doing something else. And I don't think I have done it before on the channel. Well. Part of it, I kind of did it before on the channel, but the rest of it, I never did it before on this channel, and hopefully it'll be alright. So um, yeah, look forward, look forward for that. So um, um, it, by the way, it's a hit involves this guy. So um, until then, guys, rock it on. Take you right now, get a moving on.